Hey everybody, it's Nicole and Evie. Just getting on here to talk to you guys about a couple of things. For one, some of you, we all know it's that time of the year where animals are breeding. Yeah. Spring is almost here, everybody. But, Getting our animals spayed or neutered will really, really help down, kind of down extra animals, to be honest. Unless you're a breeder, a professional breeder, that's fine. But not all of us are breeders. And having... Bringing animals costs a lot more money, people. I'm just letting you guys know. That is why Onyx is spayed. Even little dude here. Let's see if he'll let me show you. See? And he's neutered. Because I do not need these guys breeding. And plus, I can't afford more than two cats. Yes, I know the limit of how many cats I can have, personally, because of how much I get a month. Okay? Not trying to chew you out or bitch about it or anything. And stick. Excuse the French. Should have said that, but. Still. But we have to limit how many wild animals out there. Like cats, dogs. Okay? And me, personally, I'm all about getting my, my animals spayed, neutered, you know. And plus, getting those spayed and neutered guys makes their life last a little bit longer than not getting them spayed or neutered, okay? I'm just being honest here. So, just think of what you're doing to these guys, okay? Because if you're not getting your animals spayed or neutered, they're probably going to have a higher chance of getting cancer somewhere okay and you don't want to go through chemo treatments for your animals because they're not spayed or neutered because doing chemo treatments on your animals is more expensive than getting your cat spayed or neutered because getting them spayed and neutered is a one-time deal then have go through them having be going through chemo beyond all these medications you know because that can add up guys because I never had a cat get cancer because I had them spayed and neutered okay Having them spayed and neutered lowers the chance of cancer. Yes, animals can get cancer. If you don't believe me, ask your veterinarian. And they can tell you that the animals are probably do have a chance of getting cancer, guys. Okay. This is why I'm on here talking to you guys about spay and neutering of the animals. Unless you're a professional breeder. Okay. Because the breeders have more money to deal with the health costs and everything for the animals. Okay. Come on, Evie. Come here, dude. Just like me. Yes, I had to pay to get Evie here neutered.
but I want his, him to be healthy and have a lower chance of him getting cancer in that area. Okay? And plus, I'm looking out for the welfare of him. And I... Yes, I am. I know. You're such a lover. And plus, as you can tell, Evie is a lover. He became more lovable after he got neutered. Yes. Depend on the cat, and you, if you know the cat's personality, getting them spayed or neutered might, you know, get them to come like this. Because he's been doing this a lot since he got spayed, um, neutered. Haven't you? Haven't you? Yes. I got you too. So. Not trying to nag here and nag there and everything. I'm telling you as a pet owner, okay? Do what is best for your animals. Even if you have one or more, do the right thing. And look after your animal's health and do what's best for them okay even if it has to get them spayed neutered you know see Evie's even trying to tell you guys by the look of getting your other animals spayed or neutered okay aren't you buddy yeah. Anything else you want to say to them? About getting spayed and neutered? Huh? Say, you m live a lot longer than what wildlife, the wildcats do? Huh? Yeah. I know. You don't know what's going on do you but you know what I'm trying to say huh am I looking out for your health even if you have to go on an adventure to see Dr. Carter yeah oh you know that name huh that I whispered in your ear huh Because you don't need cat male spraying all over your ha apartment or house or wherever you live. Because, yes, males can do that when they're not neutered. Thanks for the tail mustache there, dude. And you, if you don't want to deal with your female animal either acting weird and because they're not spayed is when they an unspayed unspayed females can really show you signs that they're ready to breed and you do not need to add more dogs or cats to these world this world because there's enough out there you guys please be responsible and getting your animals spayed and neutered please okay because i see so many cats wild well, cats here where i live Okay, I've seen at least two or three cats out there wandering 
and I don't even know if they're owned or not. That is why I'm asking guys to get your animals, especially cats, spayed and neutered. Because cats can have pretty amount of kittens in one year, if you think about it. Because they go into heat once a month for at least seven days. Female cat goes in heat for seven days. Yes. And they, female cat, will meow every five seconds. The only reason I know this part is because I have a friend that has a nine-month-old female cat that is not fixed yet. And she went into heat last month. And she was meowing every five seconds for at least a week, guys. If you do not want to hear that, get your animal fixed, please. Okay? As an owner, please. Okay, but I'll let you guys go, okay? I'll see you guys later, but just think about that, okay? And I'm pretty sure the vets will agree about getting your animals spayed or neutered unless you're a professional breeder, okay? But I'll see you guys later. Bye.